Hello and welcome back to What's Your Story? I'm your host, as always, Guy Storybook. Today's guest really likes to rhyme. You may be familiar with some of those as Jack and Jill, Hickory Dickory Dock, and Hey Diddle Diddle, The Cat in the Fiddle. Please help me give a warm welcome to Mother Goose. Thank you for coming today, Mother Goose. Hello, dear. So, Mother Goose, tell me. Does Jack and Jill, are they based on anyone in, in your life? Oh, yes, dear. They are my 10-year-old twins, Aww. and they were just trying to get some water to bathe their dog that day. Twins? Yes. Little known fact, Jack and Jill were twins. So, was there an incident that inspired the breaking of the crown? this day they wanted to wash their dog and I said not with my water you're not and so they had to go up the hill to, to get the water out of the well to fetch a pail of water and then what happened well so they went up and as they were coming down they fell. <gasps> Jack fell and Jill came tumbling after and there you go uh, tragic story of Jack and Jill mother goose I feel for you and your children. So tell me, um, let's talk about Humpty Dumpty. Oh, yes. Humpty Dumpty, how's he doing now? Well, he's recovered. I'm glad to tell you that. But it did take some work. The king's men could not fix him. So we had to send him to the Egg Urgent Center. Oh. And they put him back together again. And Fantastic. he's doing okay right now, thank you. Yeah, a little scrambled, but he's all right. A little scrambled. <laughs> good. Well, it's good to know, because uh, I've heard good things about Humpty Dumpty. He's a good egg. He's a good <laughs> so Mary had a little lamb. Why not a dog? Well, first of all, she was allergic, oh. and so she couldn't have a puppy, but she wanted a pet so bad. So I let her have a lamb. Oh. But, you know... That lamb just followed her everywhere. It followed her to school one day, and uh, it was against the rules. It was against the rules, but the teacher was quite understanding. Because it made the children laugh and play. Absolutely. At recess was a blast that day, they told me. Laugh and playing children. Yes. The smiles of children brought to you by a lamb. Aww. Yes. But do you know what her teacher told her? I, please her tell. Her teacher told her that the reason why he followed her everywhere was because she was kind to Aww. him. And so the moral of the story is, if you want people to follow you, be kind. Three blind mice, Hickory Dickory Dock. You seem to tell a lot of stories with rodents. Is there, do you have a fondness for mice? Well, actually, they're tenants. Oh. I read to them. Oh. And they're actually very dramatic. And so I thought, why not use them? And that way I know that they'll have money to pay me rent. It's all about the money, folks. <laughs> so the little old lady who lived in the shoot, she had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Um, were they all her children? Uh, yes, they were. Oh. And you know what? She was able to get a size 14. And that just made it so much easier. And you know, it also worked very well as a slide for the children oh. to go outside and go right down the shoe Fantastic. and have a good time. And with all of those loops for the shoelaces, she had lots of windows and lots of air movement, and she really, really did fine with it. Fantastic. It's good to know that she was taking care of those children. And did you know this? Shoes do not depreciate. Oh. So she made a good investment. Good investment in a shoe. Size 14, works every time. Fantastic. And Hickory Dickory Dock. Uh, when the mouse ran up the clock, um, why did he decide to come back down? Well, the clock struck one and knocked him down. Oh. It was not his decision. Oh, it knocked him down. That's an exclusive. It is Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse was knocked down. So, uh, Mother Goose, um, in conclusion, is there anything that you would like to share with our audience? I just want to say, children, I hope you've been entertained by my stories. 
for I have been telling them for over 300 years. And I guess the message I would leave with you is, be kind, just like Mary was. There you have it, folks. Mother Goose, can we give her a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And that concludes another episode of What's Your Story? If you would like to find out more about Mother Goose and her many, many tales of nursery rhymes, you can check out your local library. I'm your host, Guy Storybook, and thank you for tuning in to What's Your Story?